The first couple of weeks of school can be a stressful time for families and students, especially if your child is getting ready to go to school for the first time or after a recent change. Joining me now live in Studio A this morning is Harris Center licensed counselor Tiffany Williams Brooks to talk about the three R's and how these R's, the three of them, yes. can help get you and your child ready for a successful school year. Good morning. Good morning, Thank Zach. you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. I know you're extremely busy, especially as we're in back to school season. Yes. Some school districts starting today. I know, amazing. Hard to believe we're already here. Can't believe it. Okay, let's talk about these three R's. What are they? Yeah, so the three R's are routine, rest, and relaxation. I love. Oh, yes. So routine, it's important for the parents to establish a daily routine for school as well as for the weekends. Establishing routine of what time they're going to wake up in the morning. What's the routine going to look like in the morning? That's important because that gives your child a sense of stability and it also helps to just release and relieve those signs of anxiety yeah. that may come about during the new school year. And that can be really challenging, right? Absolutely. Getting, you know, staying up late or, 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 or sleeping in, mm -hmm. you know, you now have to go to bed a little earlier yes. and you have to wake up a little earlier. Absolutely. So that goes back to rest. It's important now today for parents to set up the bedtime routine to say this is a time that you're going to go to sleep because we have to remember that children need about eight to ten hours of sleep teens as well. So it's important to think about that. Also the cell phones and electronic devices mm -hmm. must stay out of the bedroom. Yes. So in order for Good them rule. to get that rest put those aside yeah. but it's the time to really set up that bedtime routine and then of course that paves the way for relaxation yes absolutely so actually with relaxation it's important to incorporate maybe something like meditation mm. or mindfulness into the routine having a balance with schoolwork extracurricular activities if you don't have that that could bring on burnout mm -hmm. for you and your child so having that balance is important yeah I know my parents if they're watching my dad usually is watching he's gonna say he's asking adding a fourth R and that's rules. Oh my goodness, <laughs> rules, yes. And you know, that's really tough. It's yeah. tough because kids really, they had fun during the yeah. summer. But now with school starting, we have to remember they need that time to rest and prepare for the school day. Yeah. It's difficult. Yeah, that structure. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you're a parent and you're and you're suspecting that your child, or, or maybe even you, mm -hmm. right? It's an adjustment for parents as well. Yeah. You're struggling a little bit. Mm -hmm. What are some signs and symptoms to be on the lookout for and at what point Mm -hmm. should something be done? Yes, great question. With the start of the school year, anxiety can be a part of that. So some parents may notice that their child may start to have tantrums. They may start to worry about certain things, become a little anxious. Mm -hmm. They may even start to see some changes in their patterns with their friends. Sometimes you even see physical symptoms such as stomach aches or even headaches. So if a parent notices that, they need to talk to their child. Let them know what they observe and why they are concerned. Now again, the next step would be reaching out for help. Maybe they need to talk to a therapist or a counselor. We can help with that at the Harris Center. So if a parent needs that help, they can contact us at 713-970-7000 or they can Google us at theharriscenter.org. All really great information, yes. good suggestions. And you know, it's a good reminder too for us to, to keep in mind, you know, it, it, there, there are going to be adjustments, right? Yes. And not everyone's gonna get this perfect. And mm -hmm. that's okay. It is. To be imperfect is perfect. Yes, yes, I like that. It's a lot of pressure on parents yes. and you wanna do the right thing for your mm -hmm. children. And it's okay if you get mess up or maybe not do it perfectly, but right now is the time to understand what your child needs and to talk with your child about the routine, yeah. about the bedtime, about the feelings that may come about with starting a new school year. Yeah. Being really open with that communication Absolutely. and letting them know the game plan, right? And mm -hmm. maybe, mm -hmm. you know, putting the ball in their court, having them or allowing them mm -hmm. to have some input mm -hmm. on, you know, yeah, we're going to follow these three R's, but what are your ideas mm -hmm. when it comes to those R's? Absolutely. It is important for parents to communicate with their mm -hmm. children. Yes, we are the parents. We set the rules. We set the guidelines, but we want to hear from our children. Yeah. And that's the first step. One team, I agree. right? One, Families, team, one team, all the time. Love it. Tiffany Williams-Brooks, as always, thank you so much for your time thank this morning. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it.